Meaningful participation. Way to go, Rosie. Out of boy, Max. It's happening. They're swimming. Can you believe this, Hector? We're teaching kids how to swim. I feel empowered. I feel valuable. I feel a warm spot. <laughs> Kendall did it. I'm out of here. <laughs> swimming lessons. Right? Somebody here works at the Y. She can tell you how kids get connected into the Y. She talked about campers that come up through the system and then they become LATs and then they become counselors and then they become full-time staff and then they've got the Y blood in them and they can't get it out of them and there's nothing wrong with that because it's value-based It's value -based programming. Those are the young people that we're trying to create. Adults who are confident, competent, contributing character and connections. I mean, there's lots of organizations that do that. The Boys and Girls Club, they have the same system. Right, it comes right up through. They're the advocates for this positive youth, intentional youth development stuff, right? Uh, municipalities are catching on. They're understanding. We're building LIT programs because we can see where there's that value, especially in our summer programs. Meaningful participation is really, really important. It's feeling that connectedness, right? It's feeling that you're, you're making a difference and you're doing things that are part of potentially the adult world. Right? They need to find ways that give legitimacy and credibility because they're important. Young people are important. And they need to be rewarded for their efforts, either recognition or increased responsibility. Right? The LIT program is a prime example. They come in at 13, they start training. By the time they're 19, they're now you know, camp leaders and making a dollar more an hour than the kid that just walked in off the street because they've come up through the system. Right? increased responsibility. You can go to the other side too, to the negative behaviors for, that's what we'll call it right now, right? If we talk about some of the things that happen with our, our young people that are in trouble with the law, right? Maybe they were the one that ripped the Christmas lights off in the Christmas display, so their buddies gave them high fives, propped them up, and then put the lights in their shed, right? So the act that they did was being recognized and whether it's positive or negative, that's what's happening. Their need is being met through meaningful participation. And what we want to do is give them more LIT experiences than ripping down Christmas light ones. Okay. Any examples of meaningful participation? Oh, Mike, thank you. I would have forgot. <clears throat> thank you. Uh, at Big Brothers Big Sisters, we were actually just recently created uh, Youth Bigs. So instead of you having to be 18 years and older to be a big brother or big sister, you can now be 15, 16, 17. You can be in high school and you go into an elementary school for a lunch period and volunteer and be a big sister. Um, and we even have all of our littles wanting to be big sisters when they grow up. We do monitoring and one of them told me that they're so excited for when they become a little bit older, when they get in high school, they can be a youth big and then one day they can be a big sister big in, the adult, in yeah. the adult program. So it's definitely meaningful to meaningful. them. Meaningful. Yeah. So you've got kids, youth that are in high school going back to the public school so it's in a safe and controlled yeah. environment. There's evaluation tools that are in place, yeah. right? So they're supporting all of those things that youth need and the biggest need is the meaningful participation. Exactly. And by doing those activities, they're becoming connected young people because yeah. they want to keep doing what they're doing. They're building character, mm -hmm. right? Because they're learning how to deal with young people and other peers. They're obviously contributing. Exactly. They're becoming competent at different things probably. Each one of them are trying to develop competencies and they're building confidence yeah. because they're being seen as a mentor. Exactly. A great example of meaningful participation that connects directly to the outcomes, right? And I, I mean, none of these needs are rocket science, like I said in the beginning, right? You may not have heard of these developmental needs in this format, but you understand that they're there, right? And you understand that they'll find them because we all have needs and we meet our needs, right? As, as an adult, I need to have my freedom, so I bought a car. So if I want to go somewhere, I can pop the keys in and go. Right? I, I meet my needs my way. Young people will do the same thing. They'll go out and try and meet these developmental needs, and they'll find them. And what we want is to have everybody providing environments that are safe, that are outcome-based, that continue to meet these needs. Okay? 